I chose Watchful Waiting after having a PSA of 11 because with my little information at the time, I gathered that uh, the PSA might stabilize. And also, I wanted to, during that period, to undertake whatever action I could do. And so I opted for a diet of no dairy products, no red meat, uh, only fish and fowl, which not, wasn't much of a hardship for me because I've always preferred fish to red meat. It's, it, the treatment I had is known as a keyhole surgery, which is the removal of the prostrate through a series of cameras and instruments as opposed to um, open wound. These are just puncture wounds in your stomach, four, five all in total. To me, the recovery time and the loss of blood also was a lot less than, than having the open surgery, which is a large cut across the abdomen. I mean, I've spoken to people who have had this open cut and they say to me, you know, Although it's healed on the outside, they still get tingling pain and sensation and that could be the healing process on the inside. I didn't have any of that at all. Treatments for prostate cancer, including mine, and because mine was quite advanced at the time, the options were more limited than perhaps there is around today. And the advice at the time, although it was a stage T3B, was get it out. Better chance of surviving longer. And so, you know, I sort of took their advice and took the radical prostatectomy route, although I did talk to an oncologist about hormone therapy and radio. I had the radical prostatectomy. Unfortunately, um, I was left with a fairly high residual PSA. So they decided it didn't, hadn't worked. And later that year, I had radiotherapy. After the biopsy, I opted, or rather was advised by the urologist to have radiotherapy because of my age. So I had external beam radiotherapy. I would have preferred to have conformal radiotherapy, but it wasn't available. The doctors told me that it would, the PSA would drop to zero after the radical prostatectomy. Then when that didn't happen, they told me it would drop to zero after the radiotherapy. That didn't happen. I then went on and looked at complementary therapies, Reiki, those sort of therapies. And I have to say, I think it has worked for me, a combination of diet and complementary therapy has, in actual fact, reduced my PSA to zero. And, in fact, at the moment, they can find no trace of my cancers.